with Hets Oasis released in game, there is now four new farming patches that do kind of scale to level because one requires 30 farming, 50, 70, and lastly, 90 farming. And of course, to get here from the Alcrea Lodestone, you just want to run north outside the city until you see Ikram, and then keep going east for this. We will be going for the very first patch. Past this little pond, I like to say. And you'll see this weird prime rose bush bear. You'll want to click on it. And now for the experience rates per hour. And again, this does require 30 farming. So you can expect to get 9,000 XP per hour while doing this. And then also, another thing is you will be getting roses once your bar fills up. You need to click the bush again. And then these roses are actually for the hunter spot. And then just for example, these roses, they make the power of protection, which increases the prayer protection by an extra 10%. But it does not include an aiming of souls, which already increases by plus 10%. So this is mostly, I want to say for iron players that do not want to waste their onyxes or even the aiming of souls charge as it can be a little bit hard maintaining it after a while and then you can just buy them in the grand exchange and just do the hunter method <clears throat> it's just this is pretty much the only way to get them and it might actually be good money and now one more important thing from any of these four hunter spots you have a chance to get golden roses these are extremely valuable and you can get them from any plots now as you see i have a pesky scarab which you will want to shoot him he eats some of your produce that you will get once the bar is full because for example let's say you can get 50 but the scarab he'll eat three every tick or every 1.2 seconds so by the time your bar is fully filled instead of getting 50 you might get like 30 so it's very important to pay attention to that little scarab that he can spawn non-stop or as you can tell in the background he's, he only spawned once now let's go to the very next spot and again just from the roses you want to go directly east Once you're here, <clears throat> you'll see an Irish, Irish bush, which, now for this one, it does require a whopping 50 farming to do this. And remember, you have to pay attention for little scarabs. And then the experience rate per hour you can expect to get is 20,400 farming XP per hour. And then once you do have these irises, again, once you do the hunter method, these will give you the power of protect item. Now for me, I kind of want to say it's not really too important, but for like main accounts and end game, where you're, you have like an augmented bladed dive switch with using magic or range, you'll have so many augmented items that is going to be beneficial to always Keep more items and when you use this it's a 30 minute buff but I do not know if you die if it will clear so if anyone knows that in the comments please put that down so that I can inform everyone else about that and then of course remember these you can just buy off the grand exchange as well and the normal base you can keep is three items upon death with the protect powder you now have four and then with the protect prayer you can now protect another additional item now the only thing is i don't know if the hoarding item will count too 
And then the powder will be three items along with your three. So I don't know if the max is five or six items. Now, let's go directly south. Keep going south. And again, this is the southeastern corner. From here, you will see a hydrania bush, which, of course, you want to train that. And then for this, you will need 70 farming to do this. And for whatever reason, from the level 50 spot to level 70 spot, you can tell it's only 8,400 extra hunter experience, I mean, farming experience per hour. So I'm not sure why. I was hoping this would be like 35k-ish, as it should be progressing a lot faster. And then of course for these ones, when you get enough of the hydrangeas, you do the hunter, you'll get a powder of pulverizing. And then what this powder does is used to grind bones efficiently at the ectophantus. I think this is mostly for iron accounts or people who do not do dailies as you want to use wyvern bones on the ectophantus and then you can make the super prayer potions that's it i mean that's like the only thing that they're useful for and of course remember you could do a daily i think 36 39 from the npc once you have completed the achievement diary and then lastly, if we continue to go west, you will see a hollyhock bush. <clears throat> now, for this bush, it requires the highest farming throughout the whole area. And then right now, it requires 90 farming. Now, I know the XP and the text might be a little bit hard to see, but I did purple because of each color that the little flowers were, so you'll be able to tell the difference. And earlier, like I said, the level 70 spot almost gives you 30,000 farming experience. These level 90 give you 52,200 XP per hour. And also keep in mind, all of these XP rates are without bonus experience. So it could be kind of good, although it's better to just AFK Turoffs with the aggression potions. And then, like I said earlier, for whatever reason, the level 70 spot is like terrible. And then for these powders, they make the powder of burials, which is probably the most overpowered thing ever for getting prayer experience. Because it's like the auto sanctifiers that I have a guide on. I believe it was like 2-3 million prayer experience, which was a very, very old method. But now, prayer might be about 12-13 thousand experience per hour if you're bearing bones and ashes and again when you click it it gets you a 30 minute buff when you bury anything so i mean that's going to break the prayer training method significantly with that thank you all so much for watching my farming guides and the xp rates based on the heads oasis and with that thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day